KHON2, happening now. Good evening from the KHON2 newsroom. Across the state, the wind is howling and the waves are picking up as a large winter storm is at our doorstep and causing havoc, even injuries. So we're breaking in to let you know the very latest. We've learned about five people who suffered storm-related injuries, none life-threatening, but some serious, including a man who had a telephone pole fall on his truck while he was driving, a 91-year-old woman knocked over by the wind, and several people suffered injuries after being hit by tree debris. On Oahu, several roads are closed at this hour due to poles down, power lines down, or trees in the road. Fort Barrett Road in Kapole is closed near Farrington Highway because of a pole down. Kunia Road near Country Club Road is closed because of damaged poles. There are about 30,000 customers without power on Oahu right now. He Nico says there have been about two dozen outages throughout the day, all caused by wind. Now, our Justin Cruz has been tracking this storm and joins us with the latest. Just Well, Kathy, we are in the thick of it right now. From now through this evening, we're going to see the highest surf, the strongest winds, and still the potential for some rain, even though it's not raining everywhere across the state right now. Here's what we're looking at. This is the system that you see here, this swirl that you see. That is the low-pressure system that's generating all of our weather. Weather, that's our weather maker right now. Much of the moisture still to the north of the islands. We are seeing some showers, but really the bulk of the moisture is still to the north of the state. That could still move over the islands as this thing kind of churns uh, just to the northeast of the islands. Eventually, by tomorrow and Tuesday, this entire system is going to shift to the northeast and move away. And that's when we'll see the lighter winds returning to the islands and the surf decreasing and, of course, lighter shower activity. But we're still, again, in the thick of things right now. Let's take a look at some numbers. Current wind speeds at this hour, 25 miles per hour for Honolulu, 18 for Kailua-Kona, in the teens pretty much everywhere else across the state airports. And those wind gusts up to 30 miles per hour Hour, even stronger at times. Again, these are the winds that are present this hour. Across the day today, we have some higher numbers for you. In fact, look at Kauai at 67 miles per hour, Oahu at 55, in the 40s, mid 40s for Lanai and Molokai, Maui at 51, big island summits. Look at that number 100. 91 mile per hour winds. Incredible. It's just windier situation in the higher elevations. And of course, we have the wind forecast where it does show gradual weakening. So we'll see 40 mile per hour winds right now down to about 30 on Monday and then eventually breezy levels by Tuesday as that system moves away from the islands. Scattered showers for Kauai as well as Oahu. Nothing very heavy and these are all quick passing showers. We'll see increased shower activity from Maui as well. And the Big Island now just receiving some of that rain moving in through Kailua Kona all the way up through Kohala. What's left of it will be over by, on the Hilo side by this afternoon and evening. Lastly, to the surf. Still for this evening and tonight, 40 to 60 footers for the North Shore, 30 to 40 footers for the West Side. And as the system moves away tomorrow, these numbers will start to drop, but not for this afternoon and not for tonight. Hey, let's check with Howard Dushevsky, who is in Waikiki right now, to see what he is looking at as far as weather conditions there. Howard? It, Justin, we're going to talk about the weather in a minute, but we actually got a developing story because behind us, there's another fallen tree across the street here. We're by the fountain area, Kapilani Park. You may recall I told you at the 4 o'clock hour cut-in that there was two ground hornbills. Those are birds, and we might even be able to rob DeMello's my camera if you could see that bird right there. Uh, walking on the tree. I don't know if you can see it in the shot, but there's about 10 people from the zoo with large nets. Two of these birds escaped. They did catch one. The enclosure at the zoo got damaged when a tree branch fell on top of it, and that's been really the story walking around Waikiki and Kapilani Park. You go down Kalakaua Avenue, and there is just rubbish littering the street. I'm going to have Rob swing around just real quickly to show you this giant tree behind us, because this is about a 70-foot Kaiavi tree. Look at the size of that root ball. That's it's got to be about 12 to 15 feet tall, and it's not a very deep root ball, so that gives you the idea that these trees, a lot of them are probably very precariously uh, planted into the ground, and there's not much really holding them back. But uh, if we can go back the other way, there's that bird. In fact, Rob, uh, if you can get it right there, zoomed in, that bird's just sitting up there, the black bird with the red neck. 
These folks from the zoo have been out here for a while trying to chase it down with nets. Now, it's called a ground hornbill. They do spend a lot of time on the ground, but there it is. Now it's flying and it's moving around. And uh, <laughs> kind of a breaking bird news uh, that we didn't expect to see when we came down here. But about 10 minutes ago, all these folks from the zoo started coming around and they were looking for that bird. And now we have eyes on one right there. And there you see it kind of perched perfectly right up there on that tree. And now it's flying again. So it's been going back and forth across the street. And there it is. Well, nobody's got a better view of it than us right now. So this is one of the two ground hornbill birds that escaped from its enclosure at the Honolulu Zoo. And now all the zookeepers are going to come running back across the street with nets in hand. Um, as much as they're excited, I'm sure the bird is too. And it's been in a cage for uh, I don't know how long. I'm going to try to find out that information. But at some point, you see a bird like this out in the wild, maybe it seems like a great idea at first. but. Uh, Obviously, the elements, uh, a lack of food, they're not normal birds to be hanging out around here in the Hawaiian Islands. They're kind of native to other areas. And so uh, we'll continue to keep an eye on this. One other thing I want to point out, this giant tree here, you can see some lights that were on it. There was actually a picnic table directly below this tree. Uh, fortunately, nobody was sitting on the table, uh, we assume, when this tree came down. But once again, uh, all the folks from the Honolulu Zoo with giant nets in hand. Right now, the big story here at Kapilani Park is trying to chase down this ground hornbill, one of two, that is uh, right now free from the Honolulu Zoo. We'll continue to keep an eye out on this and let you know what happens at the top of the hour at 6. But for now, we're going to send it back to you guys in studio. We certainly will. Thank you very much, Howard. Now, the North Shore has been bracing for the double whammy of monster waves and the strong wind, and both have been picking up just in the last hour or two. Manolo Morales has been there all day, so let's check in with him now. Manolo. Yeah, Kathy, uh, here at Sharks Cove, where I, I would say probably uh, since about 2 o'clock when things have really gotten, uh, you know, get got the attention of a lot of people here like uh, uh, let's see uh, from then from two o'clock till about now when when the waves have really picked up whether or not it reached that 60 foot face level uh, not quite sure it got to that far but as far as the observers around here they say definitely at least got to 40 feet maybe even 50 feet high some of those waves and of course that combination of, of strong winds and surf that concerned a lot of the emergency officials as far as what kind of danger that was that that might cause and at this point uh, nothing major yet here although we have had some reports of of water basically washing over Kamehameha Highway in several parts, uh, including Haleiwa, all the way to Haleiwa, to, uh, as well as Laniakea, and also in Waimea, as well as near here. So really pretty much all along the North Shore, that's been happening. Now, this, of course, even though it's not quite the ideal conditions, it has brought uh, a steady crowd out here watching the waves, uh, wanted to see these huge waves out here, especially at Shark Scope. Now, as far as the uh, ocean safety that is concerning for them to have that many people here we spoke with lieutenant carrie atwood about that as far as what people should know we want everybody to please abide by those those signs do not cross the caution tape it's up for a reason stay off of wet rocks stay back from wet sand you know uh view the surf if you do come out view the surf from a guarded beach and uh listen to your lifeguard carelessness costs lives And of course, with these crowds, traffic has been pretty bad. I would say really bad along Kamehameha Highway, also both in both directions from those several beaches. Of course, the the water on the roadways also uh, uh, made, made that uh, even worse as far as uh, going through that afternoon traffic. Also, want to let you know a couple of shelters have opened up here from this morning. Uh, there's one at Wailua District Park that American Red Cross has set up. Also, BYU Hawaii has opened one. At their campus in Laie. Kathy, back to you. 
All right, thank you very much, Manolo. Now back to power lines. There were several downed power lines in Kapolei today, which cut electricity in the area from about noon until three this afternoon. Again, that one pole is still affecting traffic at Fort Barrett Road and Farrington Highway. Nearby businesses closed during that power outage. Further down the leeward coast, surf was building throughout the day, and the wind toppled a tree at Makaha Beach Park. Blue sand. Onto the roadway as well. On Kauai, a downed live power line in Princeville this morning. Several other areas saw the same. The Department of Water issued a water conservation notice for all customers in Hanalei, Wainiha, and Haena because an outage cut power to the well pumps and systems. The Kauai Island Utility Cooperative reports power outages throughout the island because of fallen trees and downed power lines. A large tree also fell onto a truck there. No reports of injuries, though. On Maui, it's so cold. There was snow at Poli Poli State Park on the southeast slope of Haleakala. Wind and rain earlier in upcountry and Kihei with many pockets of power outages in central, east, and upcountry Maui. Reports of fallen trees on Hana Highway, Honoa Pi'ilani Highway, and on Lanai. There are reports of trees on power lines and downed power lines causing a large outage there. Now there have been power outages across Hawaii Island as well. Most have been restored fairly quickly, but Hawaii Electric Light Company is asking residents to conserve electricity use tonight, especially from now until about 8 p.m. Hawaii County Civil Defense says the public should expect the peak of the storm and its impacts tonight and tomorrow morning. And in the meantime, the state says Hilo Bayfront Highway is closed because of the high surf and it may not be open again until Wednesday. And now we want to go back to Howard Dushevsky, who's been following a bird that has escaped from the Honolulu Zoo after wind toppled a tree onto the cage there at about noon. It's the ground hornbill. Howard, what's going on now? Okay, what we're looking at are two people from the Honolulu Zoo with large nets, and they're trying to approach again the ground hornbill. Two escaped from the zoo at about noon today. This is Kapi'olani Park that you're looking at. And the one bird that we've been following has been flying from tree to tree with the zookeepers following them, trying to capture them because, of course, this is not their natural habitat. And we'll keep following them and the weather and all the impacts that they're having. We'll have a full report for you on our news at 6. We'll see you then. Aloha. This has been a special report from the